Hi pilots and co-pilots, Brian here with another in my uh, range of videos, X-Plane 10 Utilities, Plugins and Add-ons. This week I'd like to talk about uh, an awesome add-on called XHSI, which allows you to provide a glass cockpit environment on either a second monitor on your X-Plane PC or on a totally separate PC. And that PC can be a laptop, it can be a Windows device, a Mac device, a Linux device, or any other environment where you can run Java. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant concept. I use it um, with a small Windows tablet I got about three years ago, which turned out to be not powerful enough for the things we'd plan to use them for at work, but uh, to provide a glass cockpit environment to bring up some of the... Uh, primary six controls and other things that you need to be able to fly um, it's absolutely brilliant so rather than me talking about it let's just show you what I mean and see if it's something that will be of use to you so as you download it again XHSI you can see there I got version 2 beta 8 I've downloaded from their site again links in the notes as usual with my videos uh, there's two parts to it the XHSI 2 plugin that goes in your uh, plugins folder in X-Plane. And then there's the app. Now if I go into the app, so you want to move the whole folder into your plugins folder. There's a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. The whole lot goes in there. The instructions again in the readme if you need more information. And the other part is the app. Now the app, there's Linux, Mac, Windows, and a plain Java runtime as well. So if you have some other particular system where you can launch Java from. I'm not sure what that would be, but maybe BSD or uh, got an old Solaris install or some other quirky environment you could run it from. So I'm actually going to launch the xhsi2.exe here. I'm going to run it. Run. That's the actual app running. Oh, look at all those windows. So the other thing to do as well, I'm going to switch away from that screen for a minute. It will add it to your plugins folder here. I can go to set settings here and you can set to point to other addresses on your local network. So that's how you connect two machines together or back to uh, 127.0.0.1, which would be your local host. Um, so yeah. It, if you're not used to doing IPs and so on, this just specifies the port and then the IP address of the machine you want to talk to. When you run the app, it'll ask you if you want to open a port on your firewall and you want it to so that the two computers can talk together. I'm just going to cancel that because I've already got that set. Okay, so now we can see we've got some information on these. They've connected. So if you can imagine this is on a separate machine, you could set these up across a screen and have a full glass cockpit if you want. So there we have the clock. That's cool, but I'm going to close that one. This one, dependent on the plane, uh, we have the enunciators. So like if I put flaps in a minute, maybe if I put a switcher setting on there, Oops. I'm not sure I should really have my beacon on. Bring them all back to the front. When you have them on a separate machine, I never really have this problem. But as I do actions, uh, trying to take the gear down, that's. So there you can go. You can see that it'll actually warn you about things. But I'm going to close that one. That's absolutely no use in this plane. But yeah, I think you can, if I look up at the settings here, I can connect to XFMC or the aircraft's custom FMC or a dummy. So I think it does connect to quite a few different ones. If that's your thing, you can use that on a tablet. Um, the MFD, let's see what we can do here. We can have the airport chart, which there doesn't seem to be one for that. 
flight plan if we actually have a flight plan loaded in with lots of different settings radio com display that looks actually pretty useful and I can shrink it down and resize it here you can see one that uh, the ACUS has the uh, engine information and I think there's ways you can configure that this one here that says empty we're gonna get rid of that so these are my favorite three of course so that one's set to nav one for our course there um, ACAS I think you can again I'm not really understanding a lot about this I've only been flying the basic aircraft in X-Plane and a couple of new ones I've purchased but yeah you can have different ways of viewing the engine types and then as you so you can see it's all real time and with this with a PFD I can I think there's the ability to change settings as well oh you can do Airbus or Boeing I think I think I think I gave that enough time to re just yeah there you go you can have your Airbus view or if you prefer the way the Boeing looks and so the idea is these are on a separate screen usually not on the same screen and they can be there all the time so even when you're when you're looking around your plane doing whatever you have uh, the full ability to see what's going on see your horizon uh, so a great idea so I'm just going to do a quick fly around so you can see these and then I'll call this video done see this is not ideal I'm trying to actually almost fly blind in a way by having all of these up here so I'm going to put that one down there so just bear with me in your imagination that you have these on another machine very difficult to control the plane way and I'm not really seeing what's going on okay and I don't have the ability to bring my gear up because these are Okay, now the gear's coming up. Sorry, I'm flying absolutely terribly here. It's very distracting having these right across your display. But anyway, I think this really demonstrates the use of XHSI. So if you have a separate laptop or a separate PC or tablet, that's a, maybe a Windows tablet, and can run Java anyway, then you can certainly run this plugin. I think it's genius. I love it. I have this now sat up on my tablet when I'm actually flying, so when I do this and I start looking around, I don't lose sight of my horizon. And you can see all the useful information. It's maybe not very authentic, having suddenly this display when you're, you're maybe flying a... Uh, you know, a C-172 or, you know, some old plane and I'm suddenly able to pull up this information, but uh, it, it certainly is a helpful, helpful plug-in. And I know with the uh, ACUS and MFD, there's lots of other things, like the MFD hit down the bottom here. I think there's all manner of different layouts you can use for it. So that one you can bring up the hydraulics if there is any. The low A you can't. Lead air. So um, I don't necessarily make a lot of use, make a lot of sense really in small planes, but uh, in others they might do. So anyway, 
with all these screens open I'm not going to try and uh, land the plane for this video but I hope you get the idea there just how useful this plugin is because I'm sure a lot of us have got some old kit out there that could be put into use small old screen that can be tucked below your main monitor or to the side of it an old tablet or laptop that could be sat to the side something that can run Java you can connect them up and then you can have these views available at all times when you fly so here we can see I'm cutting cutting my throttle right down I mean that's telling me exhaust cast temperature yep. oil temperature hydraulic pressure if that makes any sense on the plane kilograms of fuel any problems with the engine none I can track my flight I can see what the flight plan where I'm heading to my nav one set to that's my DME so how much distance what nav one set to there I've got I can watch my horizon my speed Anyway, hope this is of use. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if it's worth me still making these. I just love to report on things when I find them. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.